Hello guys, this video is going to show how you can deal with situations where you want some details to be on both sides but not all details. And real quick guys, if you're interested in learning plasticity, I've got a new course on Udemy. Link is in the description, it's the first one there. I've got tree cutting mechs, I've got SMGs, I've got dark energy swords, I've got spider drones, and much more content on the way. There's about 30 hours of content right now and more is being added weekly. So a lot of times guys, when you're making a weapon for example, you want, there are a lot of details that go on both sides. So for example, this detail right here in the back, I want it to be on both sides. And uh, this detail as well, I want it to be on both sides. Uh, but this detail where the bullets come out, I don't want that to be on both sides, obviously in this situation. So, you know, a lot of times you're, you're working on things guys and you know, you just automatically mirror it and you get that detail. But what if you don't want all details? So, you know, there's a lot of details you want to just mirror, but this one you don't want. So Here's how you can get rid of that detail. So this is near the end, you know, you've gone ahead and modeled all the details and now you're ready to just kind of make this side unique. So here's what you do. You go ahead and create a box. So I'm gonna go ahead and create this corner box. And I'm gonna zoom in here so I can snap to the face and I can do this right here. I'll press B for the new body ones, right click. So I prefer just to create the box and I can customize the dimensions. So I'm gonna go ahead, put that down there like this face press D I'm just pressing D right here to move this out all right now I will select this and I'll go ahead and select this box as well and I'll press Q to subtract it all right and now all I have to do is select this and just press D to close it up so now this detail is only on the left side if you're wondering why it's on the left side it's because this is a I'm making weapon from perfect dark here and in perfect dark um the bullets fly out the left side of the gun as opposed to the right side as they usually do so that is how guys can get some unique details so once again let me just show you the process or just show you how this setup works so you know we create a you know a little object right here and you know we have fun creating details on one side we're just creating all this and we're creating a little thingamabobs here right we're doing all that and let's say i create some sort of cylindrical detail here as well all right, and so, you know, you're just having fun here creating out various details. All right, and then I will just go ahead and clone this down here. Have this kind of array. All right, delete that, select this, add that. All right, so you've got this, and I think, okay, I'm going to go ahead and clone that, you know, simple cloning process, shift X, Q to combine them. All right, but then you think, okay, well, uh, most of the details I do want on that side, but not all of them. So in this situation, let's say I don't want this cylinder here. I can just select that, maybe press X to delete that. Maybe delete this. If that doesn't work, guys, all you do is select this, press D, hold control to snap it, or just, just go ahead and press D and just kind of boom, that's done. Now let's say, you know, you, you don't want this detail on this side. Sometimes you can just go ahead and X out various objects. But in this situation, I can select this and press D. Right, you can see it doesn't quite work here, but maybe I'll just like this one, press D and close that up. Right, let's see on this side, I don't want there to be this middle one here. I can try this one. I mean, I can kind of go that way to create a unique detail, or I can just go ahead and press D right there. Another thing you can do is simply select the face and delete, but you can't do it one at a time, but just select all of them. For example, if I select this and press X, we get this. If I select this and press X, we get nothing and uh, nothing for this but if i select all of this all these faces and press x you can see it's deleted so simply select all of them and press x to delete them so guys that is how you can make um that is how you can use mirror but then kind of remove objects they don't want to be on one side so it's very useful especially for weapons and other things thank you for watching and take care